Before we look at the life cycle of a mammal, we must first understand the diagnostic features of a mammal. Diagnostic features are the characteristics that mammals have in common. The diagnostic features of mammals are Mammals have fur. Mammals breathe with lungs. Mammals give birth to live young. Mammals produce milk for their young. Mammals are warm-blooded. Mammals don't hatch out of an egg like a bird or a fish. The babies develop inside of the mother's uterus. Then the mother gives birth to live young. We will call this stage birth. After birth, mammals are considered to be juveniles because they cannot do everything an adult mammal can do. They have to learn the skills and behaviours they will need. Most importantly, they cannot yet reproduce. We will call this stage the juvenile stage. Mammals then develop into adults. This process of developing into an adult is called puberty in humans. During this process, mammals become reproductively mature. This means they are now able to reproduce. We will call this the adult stage. Mammals will then find a mate to reproduce with. This ensures the survival of the species. It is also important for individuals to reproduce so that they can pass on their successful DNA to their offspring. We will call this the mating stage. After mating, the female will become pregnant. The baby mammal will grow inside the mother's uterus. The time it takes for a baby mammal to develop is called the gestation period. Different mammals take different amounts of time to develop. For example, elephants have a gestation period of two years, whereas the North American opossum only takes 12 days to develop. We will call this stage gestation. Then the cycle can begin all over again with the birth of the new little babies. 